My name is Billy Nairi Monegafe. I'm a battery research engineer and I've been doing battery engineering for the past 15 years of my life. Here are some of the samples of products I have developed over time. This is a battery restoration machine. This does a restoration from 0%, from 0 volts to 12 volts and even more. But this is a 24 volts design. Then uh, this is a battery sustain, uh, sustain charge machine. This is what this does, that it does sustain charge. But what the advantage that this one has is this is that even though the voltage input in your house is low, this will still be giving you charging. Even though the frequency of the, the power is not stable, this will still be charging. Even though you have a small generator like a better pass my neighbor generator, this will still be giving you charge. So it doesn't choose voltage, it doesn't choose anything. It is designed and customized basically for Nigerian use. So whatsoever capacity of generator you have, this will still be working. Now the advantage of this particular system is this is that some people have a 3.5 kV inverter in their house, some people have a 7.5 kV inverter in their house, and they have a 3.5 generator. So each time that, that they want to use the generator, they have to disconnect the, the inverter. And after that time, the battery keeps dying because of when you're not giving charge, the battery keeps keeps dying over time it dies so that's the reason i developed this particular charging system now the major reason why i'm doing this video is because of battery recycling in nigeria presently right now we export over 25,000 tons and more that figures i gave is just a three percent of the exact fact figure because so that i don't over alarm some people to see that maybe i'm exposing some tricks and traits in the business now over over that amount as a ton out of Nigeria on a daily basis. Now, if we start recycling batteries in Nigeria, because of currently right now, Nigeria focus too much independent, too much dependent on battery import. Because of why we do not have presently have battery recycling uh, companies in Nigeria today. That is on a, on a large scale to be able to drop the price of battery. Now, when you talk about battery recycling, what do they really do in battery recycling? Basically, they do what they call cell replacements, battery cell replacements. Like if you look at this battery for instance now, this battery is certified confirmed dead. Now let me put it on a meter so you can see the voltage. Now this is, this is actually confirmed, like you see, it's giving you volts, but the voltage is not stable. What it's giving you is giving you 10 point something. That means that about eight, uh, uh, six about five of the cells are still working but five are not working now look at it now let me do a manual test for you normally your battery comes to a certain point where it's no longer working like you see it's not even giving you spark anymore but look at now let me test the cell this all the cells are working i've done the test previously but now look at the test now let me now show you you see it this is a battery that was confirmed totally dead so what do we do when you talk about battery Recycling. All we just needed to do is to replace the cell, this last cell, replace it with another cell, and couple the battery back, and it's brought back to Nigeria. What really happens in the industry, in the market, is this: is that they take this same, uh, you ex the same amount they spend in exporting this thing from Nigeria, but then they're bringing back it back to Nigeria. The new buyer that is buying it is paying for the cost of the export that they pay to the, ex to the person that exports it. And it's also paying for the cost of the refurbishing and also paying for the, for the, for the uh, profit margin that they have to make on the battery. So, unknown to us, we are making the Chinese government rich on a daily basis because of why we are refusing to develop our basic economy. Now, battery recycling is a big business. It's a gold mine. Is a business that is going to replace oil. But that was, I'm appealing for grants to be able to start a battery recycling center here in Nigeria. We must save a lot of revenue. We can generate a lot of revenue, create more jobs, have battery centers all over Nigeria where we can recycle batteries here and use our batteries. And again, we should also put in the in question that battery is the next big oil that's coming to the world because of. You see that you see the revenue that is dropping from the oil, the, from oil demand, because of why the electric cars are coming. Whether you like it or not, the electric cars is coming to Nigeria. The electric car is coming to Africa. So support me. Let's start recycling batteries here in Nigeria. Thank you very much.